Fam Fam, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for tuning in. And today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how you can stretch your hair without using any heat. Yep. So please continue watching and enjoy the ride. And you heard correctly guys, we are going to be showing you how you can stretch your hair without using any heat. We've encountered hairstylists who would say that they don't know how to plait natural hair without stretching it using heat with a hair dryer. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you guys that that is not always the case. And yeah. So we will be showing you guys two different ways, which is the twists and the braid outs. And these are the easiest ones from the many that we know. Mm -hmm. So hope this helps. So please remember guys that you do need to moisturize your hair which we've done off camera and you need to detangle it um, You can either use one of these or a detangling brush This is a fave of ours and this is the rat tail comb I'm going to use just open a line in the middle because that's how I'm going to be twisting my hair And I'm going to be using these to just section my hair a little bit Y'all know we stay telling you to section your hair So um, you already see how shrunken it is right because it's been moisturized and washed earlier on So um this line doesn't have to be completely straight because I'm probably going to wear a wig over this, but I just want to get it somewhat okay. So I'm going to section my hair. I'm going to do three sections on each side and then secure them with these hair ties. video I'm gonna start from the front going backwards but generally I prefer working from the back going front okay so I'll only do one block and um, I'm gonna do two different twists on this block so I'm gonna separate the first one and then tie it away to do one at a time so the reason why I prefer twists is that I think they are easy to do and they give me the stretch that I require and also kind of you know will give you like a curl pattern of some sort so you can still just detangle your hair a little bit, but mine is pretty much de um, already detangled. I did finger detangle while I was washing it earlier on. It's been washed and conditioned and moisturized, so it's all good. Um, let me just tie this properly. Okay, so the simplest way to do this is that you're going to take your hair. Okay, the section don't have to be perfect, y'all. Just get the job done. Okay, I'm gonna divide it into two. So let me do it like this. Okay, this is it. So now I've got a piece on my right hand and a piece on my left hand. So the piece on my right is gonna go over my left. That's the simplest way to put it, it's just right over left, right over left. Then they swap sides, and now the piece on my left is gonna go over. What am I saying? The piece on my right is going to go over the piece on my left. It's always right over left. Yes. Okay. So try to equally divide the hair. And you're going to go right over left. And then right over left. But every time I'm twisting it, I'm kind of smoothing it out as well with my right hand. So it's right over left, smooth out, right over left, smooth out. This is the simplest way of doing it. Um, hope you guys can follow it. This is why I enjoy this. It's actually very easy to do and it gets the results that I like. 
So I'm just going to keep going all the way to the ends of my hair. And already you can see that the hair is stretching. So I wasn't lying. And then when I get to the end, I just like twist a little like so. And that is the first twist. So I'm going to do this next one just to show you guys. And then um, the rest will be done off camera. Okay. So same principle. Um, so... The bigger the block, the more chunkier the twist is going to be. So if you want your twist to be many, just make your blocks a little bit smaller. I'm not too fussy about the size. So divide your hair into two. Okay. Right over left. So right goes over left. And then switch sides. Right over left. And every time you do that, you smooth it out a little bit like so. And then you just make sure that it's firm. It doesn't have to be completely tight. You don't want to pull your hair out. But you do have to make it firm so that the curls can actually form. Okay. This is just how we do it. And as always, when I get to the end, I just twirl it around my finger just to secure it. And, the, and as you can see, it's not tight, like it still moves at the end, because I'm not trying to make it too tight either. So I'll be showing you guys how to do the three-strand braid, and I like this one, and I prefer it because it saves me time, because my blocks are bigger than my sister's, and it gives me more definition. Um, it's more wavy than curly, and it does stretch my hair better. It's quicker. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. So I'll start in the front. So what you're going to do is just open the block with your fingers. So here's your block. And you can try and tie the rest with the ribbon. If it doesn't tie, then just leave it. So now that you have this, um, it is moisturized, as my sister said, um, I've got some oil on me. So now you can just stretch it with your fingers a bit before you twist. This is what I do. Okay, so you're going to separate your hair into three parts. That's the first, the second, and the third. So you're going to hold two parts with your right hand. And now the furthest on your right is going to go over the one in the middle. So loop it over. So they basically swapped sides. And now you're going to take the one on the left and put it over the one in the middle. Yes. And that's basically how the pattern goes. So the one to the furthest to the right always goes over the middle. And then the one on the left will go over the middle. And that's what you do until you go all the way down to your ends. I hope that explains it well enough for you guys. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You're more than welcome to just slow it down so you can see. And she does it all the way to the end. Then you spin the end and you're done. And the rest will be done off camera so we can show you guys the end results. So there you have it, guys. This is the final result. Um, she did her twists and I did my braids. And this is how we look. How long did we take? And we took about 20 minutes. What? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't checking. We took about 20 minutes and tomorrow we're going to be untwisting it and showing you guys the whole curls and everything nice. And the longer you have your twists in for, the more defined your curl is going to be. Okay, now it's time to unravel to see how much our hair has stretched. So we're going to do it at the same time and she'll tell us about her hair and I'll talk about mine 
and yeah so um you can add a little bit of oil to your fingers so your hair doesn't become frizzy yeah um any oil of your choice something light just so that when you take the twist up your hair doesn't become overly frizzy okay so i'm gonna work from my back to the front and then we'll show you guys how it goes mine a bit quicker than Esther so that's the difference between the two of us but as you can see um, this is what the curl looks like that's how my curls look and now I'm gonna separate them and show you how the result is so in order to separate it you can really separate it where the hair naturally separates itself as well if you don't want to mess up the curls but my point of this was not to really make it curly was to stretch it out so I'm actually gonna end up combing all of this out either way Now that I'm done, um, it took some time, but it was not that bad. So I think I'm going to do the same as her. Um, you know, some people actually stretch their hair just by combing it, but that's too painful. So I think this makes it easier. And the oil also makes it easier to work with because it makes your hair softer. So that's a tip. What you want to do is just come from the bottom going up but not all the way through so this is what you'll be doing so that's just to cover the lines um that you've made so they're not visible and then you can stretch your hair out So I think that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, when you do a three-strand twist, it gives you more volume. And then when you do like a two-strand twist, it kind of gives you more definition. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do the same. So I'm done, right? Yeah. So this is how your hair is going to look. If you do it right. And you can even walk around just like that. Yeah. With your with your hair stretched out. Um you know, I always do my little pineapple. So So 
as I'm done here, I can stretch them out a bit further and separate the hair. And as you can see, the hair is actually stretched out quite a bit. So you're more than welcome to separate the twists even further to give your hair and your puff a little bit of more volume. And that's pretty much it. That's how our stretched out hair will look. And then if you want to plait um, like a protective style just after doing this, just comb it all the way out. Mm -hmm. And then you can actually see how much of a significant difference it will make. Yes. Combing your hair also stretches your hair out and you're not even using heat. So there you have it guys. These are just um, the two methods we're showing you today on how to stretch your hair without using heat. Mm -hmm. We hope it was informative, straight to the point and made you see a little bit more about taking care of your natural hair. You do not need to use heat to stretch your hair out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. With that being said, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe.